What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to do a really easy and good looking lower third. Now everything I'm teaching you guys today can be done right inside the edit tab in DaVinci Resolve. You don't have to jump in the fusion unless you're wanting to. Pretty much anyone can follow this along. Let's jump inside DaVinci Resolve and get going. First things first, we're gonna need a title. So we're gonna go over here to the titles under the toolbox. If you do not have this, it normally is closed up right there. I am going to grab a text plus. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over here and we are going to start typing whatever we wanna type. I'm gonna put my name. After you've got whatever typed in, I'm going to select a font that I like. Scroll down here and I am going to just set the tracking to where I think looks good. The next thing I wanna do is start the shading and make it look a little more interesting. It's very bland right now. So a really good way I've showed before is you could just do the outline. That's a real quick way if you're just in a hurry to do a title, maybe have one that's not just the outline and then one that is, and it's a very good way just to break it up and make it look a little more interesting. So we're gonna do the outside, just a white outline. And then right here under select elements and the shading elements, I'm gonna hit number two, I'm gonna enable it, and I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna turn on text fill. And in here you can actually change the color, you can add an image, you can do whatever you wanted to do. I'm actually gonna put a gradient. I'm gonna select the colors that I want. Let's just do like a lighter blue. And then we'll do this one to be a darker blue something like that. If you wanna get more crazy, you can always hover above the color bar right there and you can click and add another one. And let's say we want to bring this one over here and just line it up just like that. So you got like this hard line through it and that looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that other than I think the spacing is a little bit much. So I'm gonna go back to the text and I'm actually going to just bring the tracking back in a little bit less than what it was at the beginning. And I'm actually gonna make this lean a little bit. I think it looks a little bit better. Now, before we go any further, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, and that is Artlist. I've been using Artlist for over two years now, and they're always pumping out new bangers of songs that are just perfect for the video that I'm looking for. They have two amazing subscription plans you can pick from, whether you're needing it to be just for social media, for TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is, the personal subscription plan is the way to go. The second plan is gonna cover you from the exact same stuff all the way up to corporate and freelance stuff. So you can use this on seriously big commercial work that you're doing and not have to worry about getting flagged. I will have a link in the description below for you guys to check it out. You will get an extra two free months if you sign up for a subscription plan using my code. Thank you so much Artless for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. The next thing we need to do is start animating it. So I'm gonna to go to the very beginning of the title right here. I'm then gonna to go to settings under the title and in here we can actually start animating it and moving it. I'm gonna add a keyframe under position and then I'm gonna click over one, two, three, four times and I'm gonna add another keyframe. I'm gonna go back to the first keyframe and I'm gonna move it all the way off because we want it to slide on frame just like that. It looks good, however, I want to add something underneath my name. So I'm just gonna hold option, click up and bring another title, the exact same above it. I'm gonna go back to title, but this time I'm gonna change it to filmmaker. I think that looks pretty good. However, it's stacked on top of itself. So a quick way to fix it is going to layout and I'm actually going to move it just like so and bring it over just like that. Instead of doing it in the settings because then we gotta find the keyframe and make sure we're lined up right. Otherwise it's just gonna freak out. So I just like to do that right inside layout. I like to do all my other keyframes where it's moving inside of the settings transform. I know it's a little confusing, but it makes more sense the more times you do it. However, I do not like that it is just the exact same. So we're gonna go into the shading. We're gonna turn off the second one. I'm gonna go to the first one and I'm just gonna do just like that. I'm gonna change the size a little bit more so it's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go back to the layout and I'm gonna kind of reposition it so it's right underneath it just like that. I like to offset these a little bit so it kind of comes on just like that. Yeah, I think that's cool. I did forget one step and that is adding motion blur. So we're gonna click on the title itself. We're gonna go into settings and the title. We're gonna click on motion blur. I do like to turn the quality up to five. We're gonna do the same thing with the filmmaking and my name. I like that, however, I wanna smooth it out as a last few steps. I'm gonna click on the little roller coaster icon is what I call because it's just kind of what it looks like to me. I'm going to smooth it out. I'm gonna do the same thing to the one below smooth it out that way it kind of just 
eases into it a little bit better. You might be saying to yourself, I like that. However, it is right in the middle of the screen and I need it to be more on the bottom so it actually looks better. Easy way to fix that. I'm gonna line these up so they kind of end at the same point or you can animate them out before you do this, whatever you're wanting to do. I'm gonna highlight both of them. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna make a new compound clip out of it. That way it's just one clip. Now, if we wanna make it bigger or you wanna make it smaller, wherever we're wanting to position it, we can do all this inside the transform and it's gonna keep all of our keyframes looking nice and tidy. We don't have to worry about moving both of those because everything's hidden in there and it'll slide up on the bottom just like that. If we need to fix anything, we can right click on it, we can decompose in place. Using clips only, it's gonna bring those right back up. There you go, guys. That's how you make an interesting and clean title right inside the edit tab in DaVinci Resolve. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, share it with a friend, share it with your mom. Yeah, you guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. See you next time. Peace.